Hey guys, welcome to WRPB Studios, and today we're going to talk food. And I'm blessed to have two people that look much better than me with me right to my right. It's Annie, and next to her is Angeline. And we're going to talk about, I guess, sushi. And that's really kind of almost a new topic to me. Okay. This is not something that I eat. So before we go anywhere, how long have you been doing this? We have been doing the in the Thai sushi restaurant business for about eight years, since okay. 2013. And you have two locations? Two locations, yes. One in Sebastian? One in Sebastian and one in Fort Pierce. Okay, so you guys can't see, I don't think you can see this plate of amazing food, but we're going to hold it up for you in a minute. But I got to ask you, like, I'm already older and... It wasn't a big thing when I was younger, okay? We didn't deal with sushi when we went to a restaurant. Um, is like, has it come into its own in like the last eight years, six years or whatever? Yeah, I would say, you know, when you, actually sushi has been a long time here. Right. But people just may be too scared to try, okay. you know, sushi. But with the media and everything, with the social media, you know, get sushi come closer to the customer. Then the sushi doesn't look too scary like before. You know, it's not just come like a whole tuna or a whole salmon, but okay. then it's come up in the road. That's why people like, you know, want and, to try more. Right, and we've heard like some interesting things. And like, it's not something that I eat, but I'm going to try some of the stuff now. Angeline, eat, you eat sushi, right? I am a fan from day one. I did not grow up knowing what sushi was. It wasn't until I was a young adult, started getting out with friends right. and different restaurants. And um, I think I speak for most people. We start out with the safe California roll, exactly. right? And then yeah. over time, if we liked that, we keep going and we try different things. Right. And now I'm count me in. I'm on board. <laughs> okay, so <coughs> you open up, you're doing sushi. Over time, in every industry, things change. Things change. What have you, changes have you seen since you opened to today? Um, just to be honest to you, the thing that changed that I've seen, it's just um, the way, you know, the hygiene and everything that people not just look, come into your, your restaurant, not, not just to eat food. Now they look all over your place. Right. You know, with the technology and everything, I think it's, it's more like you really have to pay attention to every detail. You know, the cleanliness and everything. Yeah. Now, in front of us, again, is a bunch of um, sushi. Making sushi is not just cooking. It actually is an art. It is that is. correct? Yes, it is. So yeah. the people that m make it, uh, do they go to school for it? Is there a school for it? Um, most of them, they, they don't have to go to like school to get a certificate or something, but they have to learn from, from scratch, you know, from cooking rice and big to become a sushi chef is take them like at least two or three years to making one roll. Wow. You know, when you first in, hey, I wanna apply for the, the sushi chef, the first thing we ask them is like, how long have you been in the in the business? Like how long have you been doing sushi? Because to roll, to uh, present the roll is, is not that easy, you know? And I would think that, and I love to cook. Right. And I, I watch like to watch them make right, the and I watch and make it. it. Are you set up in that manner? Yes, yes, that's yes. wonderful. My concern is that I would make something like that because I would like to try everything, and then I would try to move it, and it would totally fall apart. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that that was how I would see me doing it. Um, so, and I know from cooking that it is it it takes experience to do. It is yes. What are sushi rolls made of? What what are the different kinds that there are? Um, the sushi roll is, is so different. Now, when we talked about sushi roll is making, of course, from rice that people know. But then it's, we have, you know, the sushi that wrap with the cucumber. Okay. Also, you know, when you're talking about sushi, it's not just making with the rice like we usually see. Right. But normally we'll make it with rice. You can do with even sushi rice or if you want to be a little bit more healthy, you can do with brown rice. If you don't want rice at all, just wrap with the seaweed or wow. just with the cucumber. Angeline, so you've been eating sushi. I mean, mm -hmm. is there any one that's your favorite? Well, 
No, they're all they're all <laughs> equally equally delicious, and I I'm glad you mentioned the wraps because right. some of it can look so different exactly. than my California roll, which right. I initiated with. Yes, but I you know it can be wrapped in avocado, really thin slices of avocado, avocado and you wonder cucumber. how did they get it that way? It, it is in the technique exactly. of the person creating the roll, right. the hand roll, the the sushi roll. Yes, if I like like one type. But I found it a little sp too spicy. Okay. Can I order it and will they make it less spicy? Exactly. Yes, you can do. It's the all fresh prep. You know, okay. everything make by order. Everything that you want, you don't want, you want to add, you want to make it less rice, more rice. We can do everything. So, yes. really, in reality, I can say, I want sushi and this is what I want. I want uh, sh some shrimp, crab, mm -hmm. and lobster. And mm -hmm. I want it wrapped in cucumber. Yes. And a little rice. Everything. And I can have it made the way, so it could be a Wayne roll. Exactly. <laughs> and they, he's gonna make for you with love, you know, everything. It's you can see, you know, when the food come out, you can see like how much love the sushi chef put in Absolutely. your food. That's yeah. the main thing that my restaurant really, you know, if I can, you know, I can tell people like when he come in, how the way he make the rolls, and if he doesn't wanna put his um effort and everything I would say no you're you're not the one so you can tell from how he rolls so I try to do this at home okay and it's hard I, I recommend going to a good restaurant <laughs> I, I because I made such a mess but I mean it's still doesn't mean you have to you still have to try it it's okay still it's still it's try fun, it. you know to try but you know yeah. but you're right you know <clears throat> I hate to say it but funnel cake you buy at the fair mm -hmm. okay but after everybody liked it, they put it in Publix or one of those shop, uh, one of the supermarkets. It's not the same. It's not the same. Okay. Mm. My wife's philosophy is, hey, this is really good because someone made it for me and brought it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us also about what's not here today, but you have on your menu. And, and desserts are America's favorite as well. Mm -hmm. You mentioned funnel cakes. What types of desserts and other things do you have on the menu that you didn't bring today? We didn't bring today too bad that um, we have the sticky rice with mangoes. That is very authentic Thai dessert. Like if you go to Thailand, you talk about sticky rice with mangoes. Everybody like, oh, I want it. <laughs> so we use the fresh mangoes, you know, I mean okay. the ripe fresh mango with the sticky rice with the coconut milk on top. That's yeah. a really good. And we also have the banana with ice cream. We uh -huh. have the cheesecake. American love cheesecake, you know. Yes. <laughs> we have yes. cheesecake with ice cream uh -huh. and uh, also the uh, fried ice cream. Now, before you were invited here, <clears throat> I didn't know anything, but I was at your restaurant <clears throat> probably two years ago. Okay. And because I didn't, I don't eat sushi. Okay. I had um, teriyaki chicken, I guess, with rice, and that was delicious. Thank you. And <clears throat> the person I was with had sushi. And when we left and we came back and we said, yeah, we stopped for lunch and we, they said, oh my God, that's like the best sushi place. <laughs> I said, I didn't have sushi. She said, it doesn't matter. It's still the best sushi place and probably what you had was probably excellent too. And it was, it really was enjoyable for me. And I didn't want to go because the person I went with said, <clears throat> let's go have sushi. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, but I got to tell you that I enjoyed mine this is new for me when I look at it and I say <laughs> two things. One is I don't want to touch it because it's really beautiful. Okay. That goes without saying. Okay. And again, you can't see it, but I don't know if I could do this without destroying everybody. But if I can hold it up in an angle a little bit, you guys can see this. This is what you're missing out by not being here today. <laughs> okay. But... It's so true too, Wayne, though. Everyone starts somewhere, and I was just like you. In fact, I hear it, I hear old parts of me coming through when you say, Hi, I'm Larry. <coughs> but um, everyone starts somewhere, and I've introduced people to sushi, and they have superseded me, and they teach me about it now. And but it's you have to remember, I don't, a lot of fun. It's I don't a fun food. I'm ah. not a vegetable eater. Ah. So for that's me... Big. <laughs> that's big. Well, no, no veggies for me. For me to go into the restaurant, I would say, can you make me a, a roll with shrimp, lobster, or, um, with rice. Right. And I'm okay with avocado. Mm -hmm. Because avocado, 
doesn't really it absorbs the flavors of other things. It really doesn't have a strong flavor in its no, own. No, not. Too and um, cucumber. Let me mm -hmm. get this straight. So you don't do carrot because they you, you use carrot. I can um, get by with carrots uh, sometimes. Uh, some rolls, yeah, we put all kind of vegetables. All kinds of Yeah, vegetables. all kind of different different rolls with different vegetables. Okay, uh, is yeah. it, like I'm the one that if it's green, it's like, yeah, I'm not sure I'm eating <laughs> But <clears throat> again, you eat with your eyes first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so true. And <laughs> you, you can't help but look at this plate and say, I want to try this. It's so bad. Let me tell you how bad it is. It's so bad that the person who's running the controls is hasn't stopped staring at the camera at the food okay my partner is sitting at the chair here he's never in the studio when we're filming he just happens to be here looking at the plate making sure that i don't touch it before anybody else okay and angeline who like doesn't really come on the set says yeah i'm, I'm coming on the set because i want to be close to that food isn't it aromatic it's, it's yes. almost, and and actually you use flowers too sometimes the yes. uh, orchid yes orchid. which is edible Correct? It's edible, yes. So, I mean, it's it's just, it smells, the aroma is just Oranges wonderful. and everything. All right, I'm going to pull this plate to the yes. center for a second. And I'm going to tip it up a little bit. And I, I want you to tell me what's here. Okay. Um, here we, stand. we got stand. like about you're six. you're short like me, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got like six different rolls here. You know, the bottom one here you see, we call the spider roll. That's got the soft shell crab with avocado with some vegetable in it. And this, the next one we call lobster monster roll. All right. Yes, it's got the lobster tail, asparagus, avocado with the tempura flake, masago on top with a special sauce. So the next one we call red dragon roll. It's got shrimp tempura, spicy tuna, but not that spicy. All right, and got the fresh tuna on top with avocado. This is called the green dragon roll. If you don't eat raw fish, this is the roll for you. Okay. There's nothing raw in it. It's just a spicy crab salad with shrimp tempura on top with a tempura flake and a masago. This one a little spicy, we call the yellowtail jalapeno roll. It's got the um, um, spicy wahoo inside with crab, with um, yellowtail, with jalapeno on top with the black tobacco. This right here, the black tobacco, and also the spicy mayo. So, if you like spicy, this roll is for you. I don't like spicy. Oh, you don't like spicy for for uh, Angeline? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. This is called a kiss of fire <laughs> roll. It's got spicy wahoo inside, um, tempura flake, avocado on top with fresh tuna and salmon with a spicy sauce. And this is called futomaki roll. It's a roll that very um, light and refreshing with the. Um, it's got, <clears throat> excuse me, tamago. I'm not sure if you know, like a sweet... No, what's my... Um, sweet omelette. Oh, okay. Yeah, and um, with crab and uh, some spinach, avocado, wrapped with the uh, rice and the seaweed on the outside. It's really, really... This is a it's, gorgeous it's plate. It's really good. I'm going to put it over here, because the further and away it is from those guys that I have... Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and, yes. But I mean, besides what you saw and she, and she discussed, there's um, little spots of wasabi. Mm-hmm. Ginger? Wasabi, ginger, lemon, lemons, uh, kale. Everything is edible. And then plate. here yeah. is looks like imitation crab. I mean, guys, you almost don't want to touch it because it's so pretty, <laughs> but then you want to eat it because it smells amazing. It does. Okay, so you're not gonna have the pleasure of eating it here, but. Where's your restaurants located in Fort uh, Pierce? We do have two locations. We okay. do have one in Sebastian by the uh, Publix Plaza okay. next to Home Depot, on right on the U.S. one. Mm -hmm. And another location in Fort Pierce, right next to Sunrise Theater by Orange Avenue. Is, and the food there is amazing. I was there. Do you have a website? Yes, we do have worldwideweb.wasabitaisushi.com. Okay, so Wasabi Thai Sushi, you want to check it out. Everything looks amazing. I want to thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. And I want to thank you, because those guys won't, because there'll be stuff in their face, for bringing them food so I didn't have to buy them lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope you guys enjoy. You know, we made from heart. And we'll see it's you soon beautiful. at the yes. restaurant. Yes. Thank guys, you. Guys, stop by that restaurant. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank Everybody, you. Everybody have a great day. We'll Bye. be right back. Bye.